The Cycle brand is proud of the 5,000-year-old heritage of our nation and has centered the company's mission and vision around the same. The Cycle Heritage Quiz is an endeavor in educating the future of India on our glorious past, our incredible architecture, our diverse culture, the great works of our literary legends and artists, the courage of our warriors and freedom fighters, the rich contributions of our scientists, and many more aspects, which make us a truly great nation. After 18 exciting cluster finals, we have our national quarterfinals, who will be engaged in a keen battle to make the national semifinals. Here are our participants for quarterfinal number six. First up, we have from the Krishna Public School in Raipur, Sridha Mohanty. Sridha, all the very best today for the national quarterfinal. Hope you do really well. Up next, we have Ahana Paikre, the winner of the Bhuvaneshwar Cluster Final from the St. Joseph High School. Welcome, Ahana, and all the best. Up next, from the Emerald Heights International School in Indore, we have Bhavya Sanghi. Bhavya, all the very best for today's round. Thank you. Next, we have from the Delhi Cluster, we have from the Convent of Jesus and Mary School, Delhi, we have Sanvi Rawat. Welcome, Sanvi, and all the best. Our fifth contestant today is from the New Era Senior Secondary School in Vadodara. From the Ahmedabad cluster, we have Akriti Behurai, who was with us in the cluster final in 2021 as well, but this time went one better and qualified for the national quarterfinal. All the very best, Akriti. Contestant number six is from the Springdale Senior Secondary School, Amritsar. We have Gursida Kaur Boparai, the winner of our Chandigarh cluster. It was a brilliant performance by her in the cluster final. All the very best today, Gursida. Thank you. Those were your six quarterfinalists for quarterfinal number six. We will now move on to round number one of the quarterfinal, Lakshabheda. Here are the rules of round one, Lakshabheda. One question per participant. This round does not pass. Each question has four options. Each participant gets three attempts, plus 15 if you answer correctly in the first attempt, plus 10 if you answer correctly in the second attempt, and plus five if you answer correctly in the third attempt. We'll move on to question number one, and that is going to be for Snigdha. Snigdha, here is your question. Who among these received a President's Gold Medal for his performance as a child artist in the 1960 film Kalatur Kanamma? Is it A, Rajinikanth, B, Shankar Nag, C, Kamal Hassan, or D, Mohan Lal? Sir, option C, Kamal Hassan. Let's click on C, Kamal Hassan. Well done, Srinita. That's a wonderful start. 15 points to you. Our next participant is going to be Ahana. Ahana, here is your question. Fort Gustavus, a Dutch fortification in India, survived till 1830. Where did the Dutch build this fort? Is it A, Panaji, Goa, B, Katak, Urissa, C. Patiala, Punjab, or D. Chinshula, West Bengal? Sir, Panaji, Goa. Let's click on A. Panaji. That's not correct. Your next try. Sir, Chinsura, West Bengal. Let's click on D. Chinsura, West Bengal. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Ahana. You get 10 points. Let's now move on to contestant 3. That is Bhavya. Bhavya, here is your question. Which leading Indian industrialist was born in Aden in 1957. At that time, his father was working for A, B, Sun Company, an affiliate of Burma Shell. Is it A, Kumar Mangalam Bila? Is it B, Rahul Bajaj? C, Ratan Tata? Or D, Mukesh Ambani? B, Rahul Bajaj. All right, let's click on B, Rahul Bajaj. That's not the correct answer. Your next try. D, Mukesh let's Ambani. Let's click on D, Mukesh Ambani. That's correct. Well done. 10 points. Very well done, Bhavya. Uh, let's move on to contestant number four. All right, Sanvi, your question. Enraged at Bhima, breaking the rules of mace fight during his battle with Duryodhana, which guru of his threatened to kill him? Is it A, Dronacharya, B, Kripacharya, C, Balaram, or D, Vedavyas? C, Balaram. Let's click on C, Balaram. Well done, Sanvi. That's the correct answer. 15 points to you. Let's move on to question number five, and that's going to be for Akriti. Akriti, here is your question. Maharaja Sansarchan, a great patron of the arts, especially Kangra paintings, belong to which dynasty? Is it A, Katoch, B, Paramara, C, Chahamana, or D, Pratihara? Sir, please log D, Pratihara. 
Let's click on D, Pratihara. That's not the correct answer. Your next try. A, Katoch. Let's click on A, Katoch. Correct answer, Akriti. You get 10 points. Now let's move on to contestant six. That is Gursida. Gursida, here is your question. Six majestic forts in Chittorgarh, Kumbalgarh, Savai Madhupur, Chalavar, Jaipur, and Jaisalmer comprise a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Officially named what? Is it A, Golden Forts of Rajasthan? Is it B, Hill Forts of Rajasthan? Is it C, Sandstone Forts of Rajasthan? Or is it D, Heritage Forts of Rajasthan? Um, it's B, Hill Forts of Rajasthan. Let's take on B, Hill Forts of Rajasthan. That's a great answer. So good see the 15 points to you. That's a superb start. Let's now move on to round number two. Round number two, it's called Jigyasa. Let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant passes clockwise, plus 10 for every correct answer, direct or on pass. We'll once again start off with contestant one, that is Snidha. Snidha, here it is your direct question. This organization was formed in 1861 by a statute passed into law by Lord Canning. Alexander Cunningham was its first director general. James Burgess succeeded him. Today, this organization operates under the Ministry of Culture. Name the organization. So the answer is Archaeological Survey of India. Confident answer from Sridha. Sridha says Archaeological Survey of India. And ASI is right. Well done, Sridha. 10 points to you. Let's now move on to contestant number two. That is Ahana. Ahana, here is your question. Maharaja Ranjit Singh donated rupees 16.39 lakh for Sonedi Seva. Mohammad Khan was the first craftsman to overlay the sanctum with gold foil. Steps in the refurbishment of which shrine is being talked about? Uh, sir, the Golden Temple in Amritsar. The Golden tem Temple in Amritsar is absolutely the correct answer. Yes, it is the Golden Temple in Amritsar or the Harmandir Sahib. Well done, Ahana. You get 10 points. Now let's move on to contestant number three. Contestant three is Bhavya. Bhavya, here is your question. It takes its name from the Gujarati word for pressed. It is believed to be first created by Keshavji Gabha Chudasama. Name this popular snack food. Pass. Okay, passing. We have to pass to Sanvi. Sir, pass. Okay, Sanvi is passing. Passing to contestant five, and that is Akriti. Sir, pass. Okay, Akriti is passing. We have to pass to Gursila. Is it Khakra? It is not Khakra. Uh, we'll have to pass on to contestant number one, and that is Nitha. Yes, uh, Nitha. You can answer Fafra? again, please. Not Fafra. Uh, we have to pass to contestant number two, that is Ahana. Yes, Ahana. Sir, is it Dabeli? It is Dabeli. Well done, Ahana. You get 10 points. Very good answer. Now, the next question is going to be a direct one for Sanvi. Sanvi, here is your direct question. This type of painting is traditionally hung at the back of the deity of the Srinathji temple in Nathwara, Rajasthan. The name of the painting style literally means that which hangs from the back. Name this painting style. Okay, uh, Sanvi, uh, have to pass you. We'll have to pass on to contestant five, that is Akriti. Uh, is it Pichwai? Pichwai is the correct answer. Well done, Akriti. You get 10 points. Good answer, and the next direct question comes to you. The origins of this classical dance form can be traced back to a dance style called the Urdhva Magadha. Its second century archaeological evidence was found in the caves of Khandagiri and Udayagiri. Name this dance form. Sir, is it Odissi? It is Odissi. Well done, Akriti. 10 points to you. Good answering. Now let's move on to contestant six, that is Gursidak. Gursidak, here is your question. A famous palace designed in the Italian Renaissance style of architecture was built in 1887 during the reign of Maharaja Nirpendra Narayan of the Koch dynasty. The palace belonged to a princely state formed out of the split in the Kamata kingdom. Maharani Gayatri Devi was a princess of this princely state. Which princely state is being talked about? It is Kuch Bihar. Yes, Maharani Gayatri Devi was a princess of Kuch Bihar. Well done, Gursidak. You get 10 points. With that, we come to the end of round number two. I think the scorecard will make for very interesting video. The scores after round number two are as follows. We have Trishtintha on 25 points. We have participant number two. Ahana right now is in the lead or jointly in the lead. She's on 
30 points. We have Bhavya on 10 points, Sanvi on 15 points, Akriti jointly in the lead with 30 points, and Gursidak on 20 points. Next round is for Trishanku. Let's move straight ahead into round number three. Let's take a look at the rules of Trishanku. One question per participant with three clues. This round does not pass. First clue is a statement with number of letters in the answer. In the second clue, the first letter of the answer would be revealed. Third clue would be an anagram, plus 15 if you answer correctly on the first clue, plus 10 if, if you answer correctly on the second clue, and plus 5 if you answer correctly on the third. We'll start off with Gutsida. This traditional form of Marathi theatre takes its name from a word meaning a show or theatrical entertainment of some kind. The word is also used to mean fuss or commotion. This is a seven-letter word. It is Tamasha. Gursidat says Tamasha, and Tamasha is right. Well done, Gursidat. 15 points to you. Very good answer. And now we will move on to Akriti. Akriti, your first look. The name of this form of embroidery comes from two Persian words. One meaning gold, the other meaning sewing. Seven letters. The next clue. Clue two for Akriti starts with Z. So is it something like Zawari? Not Zawari. Uh, next clue. This is the anagram. Yes, sir. Zardozi. Zardozi is the correct answer. Five points to Akriti. Let's now move on to contestant four. That is Sanvi. Sanvi, here is your first look. This famous saint and poet established the Sankat Mochan Hanuman Temple in Varanasi. Yeah, let's move on to two. the next clue. Yeah, okay. Starts with T. So next. Okay, last clue. Anagram is there on screen. I no idea. Okay, this is as simple as Tulsi Das. Tulsi Das is the correct answer. So no points for you, Sanvi. Let's move on to Bhavya. Bhavya, here is your question. This national park in Karnataka is part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. So next clue. Next clue coming up. Starts with B. So next clue. Last clue is an anagram. Bandipur. Yes, Bandipur is the correct answer. Bhavya, you get five points. Well done. Let's now move on to our next contestant, Ahana. Known for his work in the Portuguese occupied territories of India. The saint is also called Apostle of the Indies. Seven and six. So seven is the first name and seven letters. And six letters is the second name. Yes, sir. Can you give the next clue? Next clue? Okay, sure. Starts with F. Okay, so the next clue. Last clue. Okay, this is the anagram. Uh, sir, Francis Xavier 14. Francis Xavier is correct. Well done. Francis Xavier is what I wanted. Okay. So five points to you, Ahana. Uh, that puts you in a good position on the scoreboard. Now let's move on to contestant one, and that is Snidha. Snidha, here is your question. An annual boat race conducted on the Punamata Lake near Alapura on the second Saturday of August every year is contested for this trophy. So two word answer, five letters and six letters. So first Part is five letters, second part is six letters. Sir, is the answer Nehru Trophy? Nehru Trophy is a brilliant answer, Smith. Absolutely fantastic. Did not expect someone to get it at the very first try, but that's correct, Smith. You get 15 points. With that, we come to the end of round number three. The scores after round number three are as follows. Smith is in the joint lead. She's on 40 points. Uh, Ahana is in joint third spot right now. She's on 35 points. Uh, Bhavya, and also Sanvi are both on 15 points. Uh, we have Akriti on 35 points and Gursidak jointly in the lead with 40 points. Top two will qualify for the national sentence. Now it's time for round number four. Let's take a look at the rules for the fourth round that is called Samban. One direct question per participant. Set of visuals will be shown on stream. The set of visuals will be connected by a central theme. 10 points for a <coughs> correct answer. We will start off with contestant six, that is Gursida. Okay, just as an example, uh, the connection to this is Delhi. So, Arvind Kejriwal is the current chief minister. Brahm Prakash is the first chief minister. Red Fort is, of course, in Delhi. And Neil Guy is the official animal of Delhi. So, but the answer may not be a state or union. Delhi. Okay, it could be any, right? Okay, Gursida, here is your set of visuals. 
um all i can conclude is aryabhatta not aryabhatta uh, passing to akriti uh, is it sarnath not sarnath uh, passing to san sir is it chanakya not chanakya uh, passing to bhavya is it chandragupta maurya it is chandragupta maurya well done 10 points to you bhavya fantastic answer good crack all right let's move to our next contestant that is akriti akriti here is your set of visuals okay uh i'll just give you a disclaimer for this don't say that you know these are characters who died in the kurukshetra war okay give me a connection apart from that so are they the sons of bhima sons of bhima okay no uh, let's pass on to sanvi sir is it karn not karn uh, passing on to bhavya sir is, are they related to lord Ar- arvan lord arvan is the connection no uh, passing on to uh, ahana like are these all demons uh, no these are the... not all demons uh, passing on to contestant one that is snitha sir are these all related to the epic of mahabharata no i mean that's uh, i already said that you know i need something more specific uh, we'll pass on to gursi dak pass passing okay so everyone was pretty close uh, this is not sons of bhima because only there is one son of bhima shown here that is ghatotaj uh, aravan is the third visual but generic answer i'm looking for is sons of pandavas right so we have abhimanyu we have ghatotaj and we have aravan okay aravan is the son of arjuna ghatotaj is the son of bhima and abhimanyu is the son of arjuna so you all the parts of the answer but not the complete answer all right uh, let's move on to sanvi your next question sir bangladesh bangladesh is not the connection uh, let's pass on to bhavya bengal no, not bengal uh, ahana uh, sir uh, like nobel laureates Nobel laureates. No, can't give it for that. Ah, uh, we will pass on to Snitha. Sir, is it Rabindranath Tagore? Okay, so we have the flag of Bangladesh. He did write the national anthem of Bangladesh, Amar Shonar Bangla. He of course won a Nobel Prize for literature, and this is the Jora Shakur Thakur Badi, which is his place where he grew up and spent a lot of his time. And of course, that's the ancestral home of the Tagore family. Very well done, Siddha. Ten points to you. Great answer. I think you have hit a half century. And now the next question is a direct one for Bhavya, who I think is back in the reckoning. Bhavya, here is your question. Ratnagiri. Not Ratnagiri. Passing on to Ahana. Sir, all of them have Lal in their names. all of them don't have lal in the names actually <laughs> but i would not give something like that anyway uh, let's uh, pass on to contestant number 1 that is nitha so uh, were they all home ministers they were actually not all home ministers that's a good answer though uh, passing on to gurdsidak i pass okay gurdsidak is passing passing to contestant 5 that is akriti i'll pass okay passing on to contestant 4 that is sanvi Sir, are they all from Gujarat? No, they are not actually all from Gujarat. Uh, so no points for anyone there. These are all deputy prime ministers of India. Okay, home ministers was a good guess, but one of them has not been home ministers. So we have Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, Devi Lal, and L K Advani. All of them have been deputy prime ministers of India. Okay, Devi Lal has never been a home minister of India. Of course, Vallabh Bhai Patel and L K Advani have been home ministers of India, but not what I am looking for. Deputy Prime Minister of India is the common link between all three. Okay, next is a direct question for Ahana. Uh, so are all of them related to Oscar? Oscars is the connection I'm looking for. Well done, Ahana. Absolutely correct. Uh, these are the Oscar winners from India: Hanu Athaya, Gulzar, and A R Rahman. So well done, Ahana. You get ten points. and now we have the last question for this quiz but before that we need to take a look at the scores the scores of the three rounds and five questions of round number 4 are as follows right now stigtha is in the lead with 
followed very closely by Ahana on 45 points. Bhavya is on 25 points. Sanvi is on 15 points. Akriti is on 35 points, still has a chance of qualifying for a national semi final. And Gursidak is on 40 points. It all comes down to the last question. Stridha, this is your question. Sir, are these uh, all temples connected to Lord Vishnu? Mm, can't give it for that. Not the specific connection I am looking for. Uh, we'll have to pass on to Gurshita. Yes. Passing. Okay. Akriti? Sir, is it related to Chardham? It is Chardham. Well done, Akriti. At the nth moment, you got this. 10 points to you. And I think the score is going to look very, very interesting. So the final scores after a very, very nail biting national quarterfinal number six. This is the last of our national quarterfinals and it is the closest one yet. So Sanvi, well done for making it this far. You score 15 points, but not to worry. This is a great achievement to qualify for the national quarterfinal. Yes. Bhavya, very well done. You get 25 points. You came up with some nice answers. So good job. And I'm sure we will see you in future quizzes. Gustidak, you were a wonderful participant. I uh, think you came up with some great answers. But today, just the luck probably did not go your way. So 40 points to you, Gustidak. But I'm sure we'll see you next year. And winning this quiz, Snigdha from the Krishna Public School, Raipur. He, she was the last action hero in the indoor cluster final, coming second of the last question. But this time, she hit a half century. And she won today's quiz and qualified for the national Well done. Steve. Thank you so much, sir. But now we have a tie for the second spot between Ahana and Akriti. They are on 45 points, just five points behind. Okay, so you will play the tiebreaker. We are all set for the tiebreaker between Ahana and Akriti. Let's take a look at the rules. Sudden death. Question will be asked by Quizmaster. Participants have to answer on Zoom, private chat. First to answer correctly wins the time break. Okay. Ahana? Yes, sir. Akriti, my question to you is Kafrial and Zakuti are dishes typical of the cuisine of which state? Both of them have answered correctly, but of course, Akriti answered much faster than you, Ahana. So Akriti goes through answering of the last question, the connection question, and Ahana, unfortunately, you missed out. We are very, very close. Well done. But Akriti did answer fast and definitely came second in today's case. So commiserations, Ahana, you did really, really well. Won the Bhumaneshwar cluster final, but unfortunately today, it was Akriti who just edged you out. And Akriti, fantastic job. So the final scores at the end of a very, very exciting national quarterfinal. Uh, Sanvi ends on 15 points. Bhavya ends on 25 points. Gurshidath has performed brilliantly throughout the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022. I'm sure we'll see her next year. She ends on 40 points. There was a tiebreaker for second spot between Akriti and Ahana. Ultimately, it was Akriti who answered just faster than Ahana and made it through to our national semi-final in second spot. But the winner today was Sridha Mohanty scoring 50 points. So the national quarterfinal number six, the last of our national quarterfinals, was a truly riveting one. The positions on the leaderboard ebbed and flowed. But ultimately, it was Sridha who came in with some crucial answers towards the end and qualified in first spot. The second spot was up for grabs and all the other participants had a chance to come second. But ultimately, resulted in a tiebreaker between Akriti and Ahana. And Akriti just answered faster than Ahana and made it through to our national semi-finals. So it will be Snigta and Akriti moving towards the national semi-finals from quarterfinal number six. Commiserations, especially to Ahana. She played really well, just lost out in a tiebreaker. Definitely, Gursidat deserves special mention. She put in a wonderful performance in the Chandigarh cluster final. Gave some great answers today also, but just missed out. Bhavya and Sanvi, it's a great achievement to come this far. So you need to be encouraged, and I'm sure we'll see you back in future videos. So that was quarterfinal number six. Now it's time for the national semifinals with our top 12. We'll see you soon. Till we meet again. 
stay safe stay happy stay curious thank you very much